This is a product review of the Sony Dream Machine AM FM clock radio alarm clock ICF C717 PJ. And it has no power, no problem. And we'll show you that in a moment. Can't believe that's actually considered a feature. And the projection image of the current time and alarm is also available. And we'll get to that in a moment. Well, here's the unit itself right there. And this thing is not as uh, sleek as it kind of looks. But we'll, again, get to that in a moment. Again, here's your unit. And there's the speaker. And on the top, you got your buttons for the alarm on and off, alarm A, time set for said function, and the right there, and the ability to turn the projector on and off. Then the snooze and brightness when you're not sleeping, you can hit this to change the brightness. We'll show you that. And up here are your your nature sounds, radio on and off as well as the alarm radio button to turn it on just to listen to the radio sleep and your B alarm same difference over here on the back you got your projector focus knob projection rotate we'll show you that as well audio in this is a phono jack right here that tucks underneath you can plug in any any device there and listen to it through this not really worth doing, to t in my honest opinion, unless it's like a Walkman. Something that doesn't have an external speaker. Day, set, and time if needed. Display and clock. And tuning for your AM, FM radio. And here's your terminal for your AM antenna. As you can see, one of the big flaws here, nothing is actually built into the system itself. The antennas are all external. That is a minus, unless you put this on the edge of a nightstand or what have not. You can just hide it on the back edge of the of the unit. All right, first things first is when you plug it in, which I'm going to do right now, these things were programmed in the factory. And if the ba internal battery has not depleted, as you'll see right now, it'll give you the current date and now the current time. And it supposedly sets itself, which I've noticed is not very good at doing that. And right now what popped up is the temperature. Currently in here it's 82 degrees Fahrenheit. You can set it up for Fahrenheit or Celsius. So you can see here if I hit the snooze button, you got a choice between low, off, high, medium, low. Oh, just hmm, I swore it had three. Well, yeah, I haven't had time to fully set this one up. I'm still using another one that doesn't quite work right anymore. As I said, it comes with a radio as well as nature sound. So if you push one, it's ocean waves, and that's what you're listening to right now. The only thing is, that's as loud as it gets. Volume level of 30. And then there's birds, which is number two. Again, yeah. that's up at full volume. Volume goes 0 to 30. I find it weird that it ends on an even number like that. Usually these digital things work on the binary system pretty much. So I would have thought 32 would be the highest. Then there's rain, which is number 3. And then I believe this might be white noise or wind, I'm not sure, the picture is not very clear. Or it's waterfall, very unclear. 
That's the one thing I'm surprised is that none of these five are a white noise function. And there's underwater. Now you can set your alarms to go off via a normal beep. Whoops. By one of these sound effects. And the alarm and radio on off button shuts off the sound effects. Surprise that there is not a white noise. That's a standard with most of your white noise or nature machines. So again, Fahrenheit and Celsius right there, AM and PM, and there's a little star right there that represents whether it's on Eastern Daylight Time or not. Now, these are programmed at the factory for Eastern Daylight Savings Time. So, in order to set that, you're going to have to play with these buttons over here, but I don't have to do that. And again, one thing I didn't show you is this thingy right here. This is your combination FM antenna and the thermometer sensor, which is the bulb right there. Anyway, I said the sensor for setting the correct time doesn't seem to really work, but then again, I am on the extreme outer reflective fringe zone where it's pretty much impossible for almost any clock to pick it up. The only ones that have ever successfully done it is anything from Radio Shack. In fact, believe it or not, as much as people blast Radio Shack equipment, I say are the best at picking up the signal, as well as my Casio Pathfinder. It's, it comes a fairly close second. So it's not very good at doing that. Anyway, also it does come with a radio and for the sake of fair use, I'm uh, going to only play it for just a couple of seconds a piece. So you're not gonna hear too much and it is at full volume, which kinda is upsetting. This is FM gonna hit the radio button okay and that's AM but in order for AM to work we gotta attach our AM antenna which is kind of a pain all right I got the antenna attached it didn't want to really work so what we do now is we hit the tuning button here and we can select the station that we want. And it moved a little bit. So what it will do is it will look for a station. Cool cartoon character of Jason Wayne. Okay, that's a local station there. And if you press it one by one, you can get it to work on its own. You don't have to. It won't search for a station. Now, now 1030 is a benchmark station. 99% come home safely. That's up from 62% in 19... Alrighty, that's enough, unfortunately. We gotta shut this off. Yeah. One other thing is these buttons will not function till you let go of them. It's not like a lot of systems where you push the button, then it reacts. It only reacts when you let go. And so... As you can hear, the radio isn't really that high of quality, which for a clock radio, what do we expect? But it isn't all that loud either. So I don't know, unless you have it close to you on a bed, on a bed stand, it might not wake up those that sleep really heavy. The only thing that has not been tested here is the beep function for the alarm. And what I'm going to do right now is set the alarm for you. Now alarm A is actually set up for work. So what I'm going to do now is we press and hold in the button. And now what's blinking is the hour. So you use the time set buttons that I showed you previously. And you can change the hours. We're gonna set it for very close. Hit it again. Now you can set the minutes. I'm going to set it for 6.40, which is a few minutes from now. 
So I might have to edit this video again. Hit it again. Weekday weekend. I'm sure that's an option. Yeah, weekday, weekend, or both. I set it that way. Then the next one is... Okay, I screwed this up. Next setting is radio, buzzer, or nature sounds. Now, in order to set the radio or the nature sounds, you hit the alarm button when you're on radio or nature sounds. And then you choose a preset. In terms of the nature sounds, preset one through five are these up here as, as indicated by the sound effects. Waves, birds, rain, waterfall, and underwater. Now that it's set, what we do is we just push it quickly like so. And now the alarm is set and we'll see what the beep sounds like. Oops. And that'll be in just a brief moment. Alrighty, we got it set to buzzer and Within any moment, we should hear it. Let's see how loud it is. Okay, any second now. Well, that is it. That's weak. That is your buzzer alarm at full volume. Let me tell you, I have a travel pocket alarm clock that is significantly louder than this. That is, that is just terrible. I hope you're not a very light sleeper because that's not good. Then you hit the alarm button to shut it off and there you have it. Next thing is the projector, which Actually, the nice thing about this one is you have the option of it being on or off. However, in the negative territory is there's only one brightness. So you're stuck with what little brightness you get out of it. So unlike the Radio Shack alarm clock, which I was currently using, you're it is not adjustable to the brightness in the room. So right now we're gonna take this off the tripod. There we go. And for comparison's sake, I got this in my shaky hand, let me move it, there we go. We're now gonna take this and put it next to the Radio Shack. And there's the display from the Radio Shack one. It's set as bright as it goes. It has a sensor. Now I'm going to turn, there it is, I'm going to turn on the projector. And so you can see in a bright room it's not very good, but it's also quite big. I'll shut the blind here just to make it a little easier. And there's your time. Now, it only rotates physically front to back. And it's real hard to see, but it is there. Now you can rotate it in other in other axes in terms of up, down, left, right by hitting the let me show you the projection rotate button right here. And this is the focus knob that focuses the image. Now if I hit this button we can rotate the image. Now it's facing this way, now it's that away, and now it's backwards. And there you have it. So I notice from the preset it's roughly 10, roughly 10 seconds slower than it should be if it were being set by the clock. And by the way, in nice dark room, at full bright, this makes a good nightlight. 
there's dull, off, bright, dull, off. I guess when I tried it before, I hit it twice and it didn't react. That's why I thought there were three brightnesses. So, I mean, it has that definitely going for it. Unfortunately, you cannot... You, if I want to pitch, pitch it towards that wall, I can't do it unless, of course, I stand it up and you can't even see the can't even see the image and it's replacing the radio shack clock because not because of the how small that appears that's fine but the display has completely almost completely failed at times in fact here is a picture of this and the Sony clock together as you can see the Sony one is displaying the time correctly whereas the radio shack one I'm not sure if that's Klingon or completely broken So, that's my review of this Sony alarm clock. I mean, on radio, it's probably the best option when it comes to the loudness of the alarm. And it's not really horribly loud to begin with. I mean, it'll wake most people up, definitely. But on those rare moments that I might sleep heavy, I might not wake up for an extra few minutes as it's going off. And that, that wimpy little buzzer I am shocked that they went with something so pathetically awful yeah so if you're a heavy sleeper this is definitely a miss a do not buy but if a light alarm wakes you up or a normal alarm wakes you up this will definitely work for you and you also have these wires that you gotta hide. That's the AM, no, that's the FM, and that is the bulb for the thermometer. Reason it's reading 87 is it's next to the computer that was on not that long ago, so that's a false reading. And that'll be it. This is George F551 saying, and I hope you enjoyed the review. See you later.